Hi, welcome to our session Forms Where Java Programming Pitfalls and Best Practices. This is an introduction to our series of pitfall, pitfalls we will discuss. Uh, we are consultants of the Performance Competence Center and we deal with Java performance. My name is Jeroen Borges. And my name is Peter Paul Bakker. In this series, we're going to have a look at the most important performance factors and the things that stand out in all of the code reviews that we did and the profiling sessions that we saw, so in the remote service calls and the database calls. Uh, it's very important that you know how many calls per, users, uh, per user request are done and how much data is transferred because they, these things have large impact on the actual performance for the user. Another thing to have uh, a good look at is your memory usage. A lot of memory is being used in enterprise applications in HTTP sessions, in caches, and in other pools. So it's very important that you know how many sessions do I have and how many entries are in there and how much data is actually being used all of the time. And most important, do we not have a memory leak so the server will come to a crashing halt? Okay, so we classified actually uh, coding pitfalls. So we've done a lot of uh, uh, code reviewing and we've done a lot of profiling and actually those two uh, complement each other because profiling will give you uh, information about uh, uh, bottlenecks in your application during this specific test. And the pit code pitfalls are actually potential performance problems uh, which may occur in production and, and it's, it's different because the test you do will never be exactly the same as what happens in production. So, and, and these code pitfalls actually are, are based on our experience. So it's uh, one, one thing is code reviewing we did. Uh, another thing is profiling. We did heap analysis, uh, load tests. So um, those are all uh, uh, experience which we have put into code uh, pitfalls and, and, and how to describe them. So we learned from one project to actually prevent those pitfalls in others. So here you see a list of pitfalls that we uh, saw. And uh, there's quite a lot of them. It didn't fit on the screen. Um, for this series, we'll start with four of them. Uh, we're going to have a look at uh, what is improper caching. There's an episode about inefficient database access. We'll have a look at what is improper use of XML and other remoting practices. And we'll have a look at logging, Java logging. Yeah, and then we'll end uh, the, this uh, introduction with uh, some recommendations for you. Uh, we found that this, uh, there's a lot of knowledge which can prevent uh, the code pitfalls uh, uh, in a number of books. Especially, we want to recommend Effective Java from Josh Bloch, uh, Concurrency in Practice from Brian Getz, and Java Performance from uh, Scott Oakes. Uh, also, you can have a look at uh, website jpinpoint.com, perfective.com, or join my training, Accelerating Java Applications, where well, two times a year uh, you can subscribe for, for that. First time will be 15 to 17 May in this year. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. And we hope you will uh, enjoy uh, this series of pitfalls. Thank you. Have fun.